Come on. <laughs> check, 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 check. <laughs> All right. Good? That's TV, huh? That was exciting. All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen to another edition of the Coffee House Concert Series here at Milford Performing Arts Center. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> Once a month we put this show on and if you're a musician watching and you would like to come on, just uh, find me, Ray Ozier, on Facebook or uh, find somebody who knows me and uh, we'll get you on. Um, there's lots of great music out there and as you know in our area, a lot of great cover bands, a lot of great bands that are uh, playing other people's music. And a little known fact is that there is a ton of talented original musicians uh, right in our own backyard. And that's what this, sh uh, this show is all about, is uh, featuring them and getting to know them a little bit. So you're gonna hear some stories tonight, you're gonna hear the music, and we're gonna do three rounds, so three songs each. I'd like to welcome everybody right now. Let's hear from Mick Lawless, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Suzanne McNeil. Roger Allen. Ron Roy and Adam DeRozier from She's Late. I want to thank Lou Miano for doing the sound tonight. I want to thank, a little bit louder for Lou. I mean, come on, it's a big job. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming out and I want to thank Milford Performing Arts Center for allowing us to do the show in the theater every month. Um, and that's it. So, uh, Mick, if you are ready, Mick's yeah, going to start things off. All right. I call this song, uh, it's an older song I wrote, oh, probably seven to eight years ago. And uh, I'd like to all ask you all that musical question, what came first, the chicken or the egg? What came first, the chicken or the egg? Will I take mine over easy with a side of hollandaise? And how are you, you ask, I heard you say. Will I probably say I'm fine, although I've had a crappy day? And while we're at it, would you sell me out? Find out what I'm all about We'll talk it out over a cup of joe And maybe later over alcohol When you stop talking your philosophies How we evolved here from a crater From the bottom of the sea But I don't really care much about that would you move your big fat head slim Cause the home team's up at fat Just give me something I can shout about No joy in Mudville cases always striking out Another curveball life keeps throwing me Hand me my glasses slim cause it's getting hard to read Well I quit cigarettes cause they're no good for me and now all my joints are achy and my coke is caffeine free but growing old is a state of mind then i'm forever 17 but my back is 65. i'm on the road when morning comes around feel like a mitten from the lost and found how can you say I keep bad company When all I really got's my Chevy van in me Will I take another tumble on the dice And I'll place another bet And write a check to my ex-wife What worked for you don't always work for me You get up to use the men's room, I'll go out back and find a tree. Hey! Oh, bop, bop, 
doop up shop a doop a doop a doop a doop. Um, well, my name is Suzanne McNeil. I'm going to do a song I wrote, oh, I don't know, a few years ago. I was um, born in Framingham, but grew up in Nova Scotia, Canada, Cape Breton. And, um, you know, I was nine when I left Framingham, and then I came back as an adult and tried to drive here, and it was, you know, a little crazy. So I'm just, I hope this song describes this for you. It's all true stories. I took the night. Just route one. Totaled my car in Southie. Big dig, I didn't see that sign. I bought a round at the littlest bar to clear. because I'm in Milford, that's why I'm lost in Boston. My name's Roger Allen. I'm uh, not originally from up here, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, <clears throat> I'm originally from North Carolina. And, uh, it's a long story why I'm, why I'm here, but uh, it's great up here too. It's just a little bit cold for me. So. 
Anyway, I wrote this song uh, some years back. Uh, I can't remember which wife it was about, but uh, it's, uh, it's about the difference in the way men and women think. And uh, it's told from my perspective, so you, some of you women might not agree. So it goes like this. <laughs> You ask what she'd like to do with her day Anything you want is what she will say So you open two beers and you turn on the game You jumps hers on your head, you misread her again If they don't drive you crazy, they'll drive you to drinking Those women who can't understand normal things She wears a new dress, says, how do I look? I said, you're beautiful, that's all that it took. She gave me a glare and said, you're lying to me. This color's all wrong, are you too blind to see? If they don't drive you crazy, they'll drive you to drinking. Those women who can't understand normal thinking. One day they'll tell you they love you no end The very next day they just want to be friends Then the day after that they want to choke off your wind And then all of a sudden they'll love you again If they don't drive you crazy they'll drive you to drinking Those women who can't understand normal thinking so what's up with those women who bring woe to men? Are they playing some game that no man can win? Or maybe some wires got crossed up in their brain That makes them do stuff just to drive us insane? They don't drive you crazy, they'll drive you to drinking Those women who can't understand normal things if they don't drive you crazy, they'll drive you to drinking Those women who can't understand normal thinking Thank you very much. Very nice. uh, so uh, we are actually two of us. So anyways, we're going to do a song called Lost in Boston, but we're not going to do that now. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm going to do a song called Tennessee, which is fictional. It's about a, uh, about a, young, a young southerner that uh, decides to move up north to uh, kind of rebel against his family. He ends up settling down, and then he uh, kind of wants to go back to where he came from, but he, but he can't because he's, he's, he's got, you know, uh, he's kind of settled down. He's got family. He's got, you know, more commitment, so he just, just can't get back there. Yes. 
is my newest uh, song, so I uh, about the frailties of uh, relationships, and uh, I guess how in the end of everything, how love really kind of brings everything back around again. Uh, I call this uh, from the inside. She said she couldn't face the day And I reached out to touch her face Can't take for granted of her love And never put myself above In these very heavy times So happy she is mine Babe, I'm sorry for your pain Take one step closer to the flame So we'll run to catch the sun And fall down when the day is done World unravel, fall apart How I love you, baby If we listen for the sound You might hear that things are crumbling down And if you listen very hard Perhaps you'll find that it's not really hard a river flowing free even if for you and me babe I'm sorry for your pain take one step closer to the flame If we listen for the sound You might find that things are crumbling down Babe, it's time to close your eyes To see some better things from the inside Said she couldn't face the day And I reached out to touch her face World unravel, fall apart How I love you, baby Well, I'm going to keep it a little mellow, too. I'm going to do a song um, about my sister.
with Nancy, and uh, this is for all the sisters out there. I wrote this song with my mom, actually, um, and the story is when I was a little girl, we, we lived, um, she was in preschool and I was in elementary, and there was a fence separating us, and at school, you know, I'm the older sister, she would always be crying through the fence, her little, eh, Susan, in our hands, we would lock our hands through this fence, so it was really sweet, I used to calm her down. I didn't really even remember this story till she told it one night, so anyway, when you get older, you know, your sister, if you're lucky, usually they're your best friend, so this is, uh, this goes out to all the sisters out there. Sunny skies, the morning rush, arm in arm we run to the bus. Separate schools, side by side, sad as she waves goodbye. Recess, I'm with my friends. I hear my name, she's crying again. There she is in her pink dress, tiny fingers reaching through the fence. Sister's hands touching mine like no. on her wall I'm cranking Zeppelin down the hall Before you know it's graduation day She'll miss me most when I go away I once knew a farmer who really loved the land Never knew a 
a stranger no denied a helping hand his life had told a story to those who dared to hear about hard work and truth and honor and family held dear and i once knew a picker banjo mandolin guitar with a voice so warm and tender he should have been a star gave his songs and stories to his family and friends they came straight from his heart you know with a big mischievous grin and yes i knew this gentleman he impressed me no end i'd really like to tell him that when i see I once knew a worker in a paper mill in town He did that job for 20 years not to let his family down And he once told me, son, when there is nothing good to say About another person, nothing is what you say I once knew a father did his best to raise five boys Taught them how to give their all and answer for their choice Some of those choices weren't as good as they could have been But he never judged them harshly and they all became good men Yes, I knew this gentleman impressed me no end really like to tell him that when I see him again. I once knew a husband loved his wife for 50 years. They stood by each other through the laughter and the tears. She was right beside him on the day he passed away. Although she lived for six more years, she never was the same. Yes, I knew this gentleman impressed me no end. I'd really like to tell him that when I see him. busy for uh for uh, me and my brothers to go uh get involved like organized sports or anything so we we pretty much had to stay on the farm and it was a seven day uh, week you know days a week operation so i mean growing up i had to really just be at the farm and uh and just kind of explored it and uh you know, it was a great experience um the song's kind of about that that uh, about that place it's called say what you say
Well, this next song, uh, kind of, this song kind of wrote itself in a lot of ways. It was spawned um, from me filling my gas tank one day. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, not so much about the prices, but about this stupid television monitor <laughs> telling me that I needed a soft drink and a candy bar or something. And I'm like, it really, um, it, Took me off. <laughs> it kind of did. I'm like, um, there were was, there was things that I don't think we need, and that might be one of them. Um, things might have been a lot simpler. Can I, can I get a sip of that? Before? Wet my little whistle before I. <laughs> Thanks, sir. All right. Mm. Thank you. Anyway, it kind of. Uh, after, after, after that, I mean, we, we see them all the time now. Um, but uh, this was probably a couple of years ago when we first started to come on with those things, and I didn't like the thing at all. I, wrote home, I went home and I, and I wrote this song, and it kind, of, it kind of wrote itself within like maybe 30 minutes. And this little uh, twist on modern times here. It's called Come Monday, and honestly, I swear now, at the time I wrote this, I did not know that Jimmy Buffett had a song the same name. <laughs> all right, so give me a pass on that, all right? <laughs> Top of the morning and say, here I go again I step out of the shower and check on all my Facebook friends I got no time for coffee with my keys lost in the door That pink and orange donut drive through has got ten million stores Junior's sick home from school He ain't no baggy pants wearing fool He's just missed a text message And lost in the wreckage of youth I've been trying my best That alimony never rests But I kind of liked it better We're in the red zone and we're heading for a score Don't you know the Super Bowl commercials put me on the floor And now the MVP was called to testify About the needle he injected in his thigh Hey, Junior, let's toss the ball But Junior's gone off to the mall To wait in line for some new computer game Trying to keep score Doesn't seem to mean that much anymore Cause I kind of liked it better before Every now and then I swear I think I see the light Then I realize that it's just my TV flicker in the night Another big star breakdown, lawsuit, sex, drugs and big money And my excise tax is overdue come Monday Hey, Junior, let's go outside. It looks like a beautiful day for a ride. But the price of gas just spiked at 404. I guess we're all just doing fine. And I'll keep rolling on that line. But 
the kind who like it better before It's the kind who like it better Sometimes songs come out really fast, like you were saying, and then other times you slave over them. But this one came out pretty fast for me, and it's called It's All About You. I don't have any really fascinating stories with it. It's just kind of about a lot of drinking. You're like a big tall glass of water. Can't wait to get my arms around you, you. It's all about you I went to the fortune teller She said, honey, who's that fella? You It's all about you Anyone who's ever met you I guarantee they won't forget you Oh no It's all about you You're my favorite thunder. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot the words. I've only sung this song probably about 2,000 times. Wait, it's coming to me. <laughs> You're my favorite something latte. No need for sugar in my favorite latte. You, something like that. It's all about you. You walk in a room and light it up. There's gold in everything you touch. It's you. It's all about you. You're going to cut that part out, right? <laughs> Anyone who's ever met you, I guarantee they won't forget you. Oh, no. It's all about you. Sweet reserve, that's what you are. It's you. It's all about you. I stopped looking, I was through true love exists. I never knew it's you. It's all about you. Anyone who's ever met you, I guarantee they won't forget you. Oh no, it's all about. Thank you all for putting this on. This is, uh, it's a really nice thing. We're 
and there's some really talented people on the stage, and not me. I'm just. <laughs> I'll do. This is one I wrote uh, a few years back. A friend of mine ended up in jail after his uh, wife had left him. And uh, anyway, so it's not that funny, I guess. But, uh, <clears throat> and the song's not funny at all either. But uh, just saying it funny. Anyway, so I, I felt like he deserved a song, and uh, so I wrote it from the first person because I didn't want to tell anybody about him and his experience. And I used a little bit of poetic license, but it's based on a true story. Folks say when it rains, it pours. My life is full of rainbows, sure Feels like it's been a hurricane With 25 inches of rain When it rains, when it rains It pours When it rains, when it rains It pours My wife ran off with another man She shot to hell my master plan Then I lost my job, I can't pay my bills And the cops blew up my whiskey still When it rains, when it rains It pours, when it rains when it rains, it pours So here I sit in the county jail No one I know can afford my bail Now the judge don't care if I did the crime Gonna make damn sure I do the time when it rains, when it rains, it pours. When it rains, when it rains, it pours. But don't pity me, I'm still alive. That storm can kill the man inside. I'll live to fight another day Not all my dreams got washed away When it rains When it rains It pours When it rains When it rains It pours When it rains When it rains So we're going to do a uh, political protest song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this has to do with uh, you know the economy and uh, you know the politicians are you know they kind of fight each other. They don't really solve any problems. They're more concerned about their own uh, political agenda, I guess. Uh, it's called "Ain't Right."
politicians in the shenanigans. The only solution is a revolution. So come on now, and I say it's time to fight. Let's hear for our acts tonight. All right, thank you very much to Rob and crew from Milford TV for filming this every month so that we can watch it on Milford TV and then watch on YouTube. You can see past shows on YouTube. They're really great. Thank you very much to Carol and John for allowing us to come here and uh, do these shows from Milford Performing Arts Center. Please put your hands together. <laughs> Keeping local art alive. They're constantly doing shows here. Um, I was just in a show, uh, very proud to be a part of Milford Performing Arts Center, uh, spreading the word about local arts and entertainment, just like these guys and gals are here. And uh, thank you for all you can do to support Milford uh, Performing Arts Center. And I'm sure there's a, a little bucket that if you're walking out and feel like throwing a couple bucks in, you can certainly do that. And there's uh, food in the middle room. And there's food, all right, we have food in the middle room. Um, Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, J well, Lou, you really got here late, so thanks, <laughs> thanks, Lou, Lou Miano, uh, the better half of Zero Drift, ladies and gentlemen, for running our sound tonight. And thank you very much for Jim. Jim being one of the biggest uh, music supporters in the area. Uh, we appreciate uh, Jim, and this has been a, um, I, we keep adding to it, this was a, a WMRC production, a uh, MPAC production, now a lame local area music ensemble production, and I don't know who else. A Milford TV production, of course. And uh, the, the list grows every month, which is nice. That just means more people want to be uh, involved in this. Um, so thank you for coming out. Give yourselves a round of applause. You know, real quick before we go, and this might be putting you on the spot. I wanted to do this early to make you think about it. But I, I want to hear one lick from everybody. The most influential lick of your life. Now, you guys are lucky because you get to think about it. We're going to start with Mick, the most influential lick of your life, and then we'll, uh, we'll take off. So thank oh, you for boy. coming. Well, we'll just do a scene like I had the monkeys reference earlier. We'll just go. Very <laughs> nice. It's a Valley Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne? <laughs> Heard it through the grapevine. Very nice. Roger, what do you got? Can't you see? Very nice. Uh, well, I haven't been playing uh, covers for I know you're doing originals, I know. But way back when, when you first picked up that guitar. Well, they're feeling something like that. There you go. <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. Great job tonight. Thank you for coming. We'll see you in a month.